Welcome back everybody. So I probably should have titled this video when two monsters meet because today we're going to be talking about the CZP10F, the big hammer in that full size configuration. And one of my favorites, the DR920 Shadow Systems, that is the Warpoint Edition. But these two are hands down some of my favorite and they are some of the fastest and the flattest running pistols that I personally own. Seriously though, the performance just speaks for itself and these things are both absolute range monsters. So I do these because if you're comparing these two or you're comparing these to others, I want you guys to have the best idea of what these are like out there. So we're gonna compare the range footage on these first. Then we're gonna talk about the differences, the similarities, what they come with, what they don't come with. And then of course, give those overall elevator music specs so you guys can get all the details that you're looking for. And it'll give my overall opinion on them so you guys can kind of get an idea of the main differences between these as compared to some other things. But first, we got to pay the bills with the help of Tac Pack. Now, if you don't know what Tac Pack is, it is a monthly subscription box where you could get everything from hunting, camping, fishing gear, all that outdoor stuff that you may be into, including small parts for your build and the tools to put them together, and maybe a little coffee cup to keep yourself caffeinated and ready to go out there. Overall, I've put a bunch of the stuff that comes in these, especially the Real Avid Cleaning Kit, one of my favorite pieces that's come in there, to use on literally a weekly, if not daily basis for my range activities. Check them out at tackpack.com and use code TC to get yourself a free tactical gift after your first month. Let's move right into that range footage and we'll start off with the Shadow, the DR920 full size. This is the War Poet and it's one of my favorites because this thing is an absolute animal out on the range. Again, hands down one of the flattest and fastest pistols I've used out there. And it comes just loaded with everything you're gonna want or need for something that's that Glock clone style of pistol. The speed you can run the DR920 at is like few other things out there and the accuracy is right behind that as well. So even with minimal training or experience, this is something you can pick up and grow into and have a extremely good day out on the range with. Now the Shadow Systems is a Glock cloner, so if you are used to that, you might be very familiar with it, but there are a ton more options when it comes to this pistol to include the better angles. So you're able to run this with a little bit flatter of a profile if you're not into that aggressive grip angle. For me, that less aggressive angle just works out on the range. You do get those interchangeable back straps here. So you're gonna have the ability to go from a more aggressive Glock style grip to a less aggressive, more neutral 1911 style grip, which is where I live. So in the end, you will get to kind of use your choice here. It is gonna be your decision on where to go with this. But either way, the thing is just a monster. The slide on this has been lightened with serrations all over it. So that's gonna help minimize that recoil. And you're also going to get some really nice options. Everything on this from the trigger, it's a really nice flat face trigger that's going to feel far better than a lot of other striker stuff out there. It does accept some aftermarket Glock parts and it does not accept some others because there are minimal differences here. Running those basic drills out on the range from a draw to reloads to bear standards to build drills, all that stuff, it's extremely natural because I carried Glocks for so many years but this gives me that less aggressive angle that my body likes to work at. Everything is just natural. It kind of falls into place. It fits most of my Glock holsters and I can run it extremely fast and extremely natural. The best thing about this is the magazine exchanges. You have that mag well, so they get in there super quick. Even if you're a little bit off, you can conduct an emergency reload with ease with that minimalist yet very effective mag well. Mitigating that recoil or your recoil management control is made very easy, not only from the grip angle, but the texture that is all over the pistol grip on it. A very generous undercut on that trigger guard or double undercut. And you're also gonna get those ledges up front. They're gonna give you more of that sandpaper style texture, but an additional ledge for your offside hand thumb to rest on to help control the recoil impulse. So that combined with a lighter slide and the fact that it's a low bore access pistol, which does make a small difference, the thing is just 
flat and super fast. So the overall feel of the DR920 on the range, it's quite nice. Everything from that aggressive sandpaper texture, less aggressive angles. We also have a slightly extended beaver tail here, which is gonna help with that recoil impulse. All those serrations, so you can kind of work that slide however you want to. But with the addition of being able to get really high up into that grip with that double undercut, and of course, having these ledges on the side with that texture, the feel of this thing is just absolutely outstanding. It's very, very comfortable to run. Even the magwell here on the bottom really just sucks my hand higher up into that pistol grip and allows me to just really reduce that felt recoil on there and just run it fast and run it very, very accurate. And wrapping up the shadow systems, when you compare this to a standard style Glock or even many of its peers, there's just an instant difference in the performance of it out on the range. But this is a full custom pistol and we'll get more into that and the price and the differences because it's definitely got more things on it, but that comes with a price tag. And now that it sounds like I've had a love affair with Shadow Systems, what about that P10F? Because that is a lot to follow and I can tell you, this thing's a beast. Look at the size of that in my hand. It's an absolute range monster. And that size and that weight shines through in the performance. Now, the CZP10 series has probably one of the best striker fired factory triggers out of the box out there. You can fight me on it in the comments, but hands down, the break, the reset, and the overall feel of that trigger out of the box is far better than most other striker stuff out there. Oh, my Lord. See how flat that was? <laughs> I ain't saying it's the best, but it's definitely better than a lot of other things out there. And I've messed around with a couple of other custom options from Apex, HBI, and Overwatch, but that factory one is just really good to go out of the box. And out on the range, the triggers can help. It's not gonna be a make or break thing, but it can help you just a little bit, especially with being a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more accurate, and just being a lot more comfortable. So this P10F right here, I call it the big hammer because it's a big monster. It's well bigger than most of its full-size peers, actually kind of rivals a Glock 34, but it is an absolute performer on the range. Hands down, again, one of the flattest and fastest pistols I have that I run on the range, and every time I run it, the more I like it because it's just good. And again, we have a lot of the options that we're looking for, that better trigger. We have interchangeable back straps right here. We have our optics-ready platform. We have good sights from the factory but the thing just performs. The ability to control recoil with the P10F is gonna be easy for even newer users out there. And the reason for that is the size and the weight are going to help you absorb that recoil impulse. As that slide is going back and forth, it's nice and low, it's not overly heavy, and the size of everything length and grip wise is gonna give you a firm grip on that thing so you can really control that even when shooting very rapidly. Again, having the ability to change from a more aggressive to a less aggressive backstrap here on that pistol grip is gonna help you tune this thing in. And it's gonna ultimately help you perform faster and more accurately out on the range. Now, everything with this pistol seems to be easy for me because of its size. Whether I'm doing draws and engagements or whether I'm doing transitions, reload drills, better standards, uh, the build drills, all those drills that I love to do out there, they just seem to come together with this thing and they come together fast on the timer because of the ability and the weight that this thing has to mitigate that recoil, make those fast follow-up shots. And of course, it's just fun. It's one of the ones that puts the smile on my face when I go out to the range. When it comes to the overall feel of this thing out on the range, it is a little bit different than that DR920. So we do have a good stipple pattern, but it's not that aggressive sandpaper everywhere on it but we get more grip, we get more slide length. We do have some texture up on the front for those reference areas, but we don't have those ledges. So it's very much so more utilitarian, but it's very much so cheaper than that DR920 as well. So there is a give and a take, but there is plenty of room for improvement here. But the overall feel of this thing out there, both under recoil, running drills, and just in the hand is quite nice. So between the two of these, whether it's the big monster, the P10F, or that Shadow DR920, the range performance is gonna be spectacular. So what are the big differences between these two pistols? Because there are plenty, and we're going to talk about the price first. When it comes to this one right here, it's a full custom pistol out of the box. It's got a lot of good options on it, and you're gonna pay for that. So you're looking 
upwards of 850, 900 without the optic. And I wanna say the Warpoet edition with everything you see here, just like it is from the factory, is like 1150 or 1250 if you can find it on sale. I think 1250 is kind of the normal price. And I think I got mine for like 1140 or something like that. You're paying a substantial amount more money because the going price on the optic ready P10F right now, it's right around seven bills. That's a pretty substantial difference. So non-optic version about 850 or nine, you're spending a couple hundred dollars more but what are we getting for that couple of hundred dollars and is it really gonna be worth it? So directly comparing them side by side, let's start with that texture. You're gonna have much more and a much more aggressive texture on that shadow systems. You're gonna have those front ledges and you're gonna have that texture within those front ledges to help you hold on to this thing under that recoil impulse. When it comes down to the triggers, that P10C trigger is good out of the box. The shadow systems is a full custom flat face trigger out of the box. And it's really tough to choose between the two. The Glock style of trigger is not known for being the best, but Shadow Systems has done a good job. However, that CZP10 trigger out of the box, I have to say, is far cleaner on that wall and that break. And I like a firm wall and an immediate break. I don't like any creep in my triggers. That's your thing, that's your thing. I like the firm wall, immediate break. So there's a definite difference in the operation of the triggers there. One of the things that Shadow Systems is gonna give you that I'm a massive fan of is going to be that magwell. So that magwell right there, it just makes life easy. So even if you're a little bit off, you're gonna be able to get that magazine in there, whether you're looking at that pistol or not, gives that thumb ledge, you can take it off if you don't like it. That's a huge difference because I find myself putting magwells on pretty much every pistol I own. And if you do that on the P10F, you're gonna to have to buy different base plates. And the next time you look at it, you've got like $200 in base plates and a magwell or more. And then you're well over the price of the shadow systems anyway. So if you're a Magwell person, that's definitely something to take into account. And one of the biggest differences between these two is going to be that optic mounting system. So the shadow systems is a direct to the slide mounting system. It's got a little shim system in there, multiple different holes for different style of optics. So it's gonna sit lower in that slide, gives you the ability to use shorter sights, still get that co-witness in there or usable iron sights. Um, overall, fantastic design. The CZ series of pistols, you can see right here, it's going to be a plate style system. So the plates don't come with it. You have to get them from the custom shop or an aftermarket manufacturer. So that's going to be an additional cost to put an optic on there. And then because of that, you can't use the factory sights, which are actually quite nice. They're like high definition, bold sights, they're night sights, but you lose the use of the factory sights once you put the plate and an optic on there. So they either might as well just not put them on there or put taller ones on there so you can actually like run the optic on an optic ready pistol. But the P10F fires right back with ambidextrous slide stop slide release. Now it's not fully ambidextrous, but the ability to work this from both hands, should you get injured on one hand or the other, is a definite positive. So the ability to run that slide, work that slide, lock that slide from both sides is a leg up on that Shadow Systems because unfortunately Shadow Systems being that Glock clone, Gen 4 style, you've only got it on the right hand side. So you left these out there, I feel for you, but you're wrong handed. And the last big difference between these two is going to be just the overall look. So there's a lot of looks going on here at the Shadow Systems from the slide work, the serrations, the logos in there, the names in there. It's done subtly, but it's very nice. Now, the slide serrations, they serve a purpose because you can work the slide from the side, from the front, from the top. The serrations are everywhere. They're deep, they're usable, but there's a lot of looks going on too. The windows, the barrel, the fluting, all that good stuff. Now, it looks good. Are looks gonna do anything for you out on the range? No, but they definitely don't hurt. You know, as I've said before, I've never heard anyone sit around and say, gee, I really wish my significant other was just, just a little bit less attractive. And now the moment my spec people have been waiting for, here's your elevator music with the full specs. I think most people at this point kind of like it when I do the specs like that. So the people that want to read all that stuff can pause and not hear me drone on about specs for five minutes, but let me know in the comments because I'm curious if you want me to keep doing that. So I often get asked if I could only have one, what would it be? Would I choose that big monster, the one that I affectionately call the big hammer, or would I stick with that Shadow Systems DR920? And here's what I think about that. I used to say I would prefer one over the other, or I would want this P10F over this because I get to save some money. But ultimately, we're all different. We're all at different price points. We all have different 
angles and ergonomics our body wants to be at. We all have different injuries we've had with our hands and our wrists. And the P10F may fit you. Now, the shadow systems may be the girl you want to take to prom and run for a little bit and then turn back into the rental counter and go with something more utilitarian and save a couple hundred bucks for life. But ultimately, that's a decision you got to make. You got to get them in the hand and you got to try them yourself because if I tell you what works for me, you've got different hands, different fingers, different lengths of fingers, different size palms. Something might work different for you. So always get these things in your own hands to determine if it's going to work for you. What I'm going to say is I don't think anyone's going to complain about either the P10F or the shadow systems. Both of these things are absolute animals on the range and each one of them brings a smile to my face. It's just a matter whether you want to pay up front for all the add-ons and the performance or whether you want to get your aftermarket goodies from say like Apex slide stop slide release, mag release, trigger, all the stuff that is out for the CZ P10 uh, F, C, and S now. If I could give you two tips for when you do go into the store, see which one just feels better in the hand and then when you present out and look over at those sites, see which one lines up and presents more naturally to you. That's probably the one you should go with because that's going to be the one your body is going to want to work with out on the range. That being said, if I had to choose one, I'd go with the... Well, that was weird. Was that like a glitch or something? So I, I guess we'll never know which one I choose. But huge thank you to my Patreons. You make a lot of this stuff here possible. That's what I got for you on these two today. I think they're definitely both worth every penny, even though they're at drastically different price points by 150, 200 bucks at least. Something to keep an eye on. I'm going to be doing a big 100K giveaway on the 100K video. Once we pass that, it's coming up in like a couple weeks here. Uh, it's going to be a premiere. So that means you have to be like watching it when the video is premiering. I'm going to do it on a weekend so you guys can all get a shot at it. You've got to be active in those comments because I'm giving away a bunch of stuff from Apex, Blackout, Flatline Fiber, uh, TriStar, um, just, just a ton of stuff. There's going to be some really cool, even ammo. There's going to be some really cool stuff. So you have to be subscribed and you have to watch that premiere and comment during the premiere to be in the running for one of that. And there's going to be rules. Obviously you have to be 18 and it's got to be like in the United States. Now that that's all done, make sure you get subbed up, get out on the range, have some fun. Remember if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, whether you're utilitarian or big sexy prom date over here, I will see you all on the next one.